Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm here with a brand new Peugeot 308 or E308 or 308 electric version and in this video this is the facelift 2024 version. In this video I will make the full review so stay with me until the end of the video because you will find out everything about this car. I will have a separate video also with the test drive and also I will try to show you the consumption and how it's on the road so if you want to see that video the test drive video i will have a separate video on my channel so check out that video as well if it's not already on the channel click the subscribe button to see notification when that video will come out before we start the review i want to give you some technical data about the car and then we will start the review exterior interior and uh, i'll try to cover everything in this video also if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out gallicar garage in arburg i will leave the link in the description also they have in Bern, they have in solo turn garage so if you want to see the car check out gallicar garage also you can check them out on the website carplanet.ch and yeah link will be in the description also on the screen check them out when it comes to version i have with me the egt version right here and yeah the price of the car the starting price at least here in switzerland it's 46,000 francs and it has all these options included here you can pause the video and see it and it has also some optional right here for example it has the pack driving assist plus 2.0 and vision 360 i will show you later the cameras for which you have to pay 1200 francs it comes also with napa leather mistral 3600 francs i will show you later the seats are just incredible i have to say i'm a big fan of what peugeot do with the seats and you have to see those seats they are incredible i will show you later then it comes with metallic color 850 uh, panoramic glass roof 1500 it's right here and it comes also with wireless charging for mobile 200 francs and the final price should be around 53,350 francs but here at Gallicar garage you already have at a brand new car 6450 francs discount so the final price will be 46,900 francs check them out guys in some country the price might be much better so depending which country you are, uh, the price might be different. 156 horsepower, the weight of the car 1825 kilograms and the consumption around 16.2 kilowatt hour. Of course it's a zero emission because it's an electric car but I want to go a little bit deeper and give you even more technical data about the car. So let me tell you that the range of the car estimated range it's around 413 kilometers. The consumption around 15.1 kilowatt hour. The top speed of the car 170 km per hour 0 to 100 can do in 10.5 seconds is not a very sporty car 156 horsepower 270 newton meters it's a front wheel drive system that means it has one electric motor that drive the front wheel of the car the battery capacity 54 kilowatt hour but usable net battery capacity 51 kilowatt hour 375 volt battery and it is lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide battery so it's a little bit different we will talk about that in a separate video where i will try to cover all those information about batteries of course it's located under the floor the trunk capacity 412 liter is pretty big also the car come with independent tag person suspension on the front and torsion bar suspension on the rear ventilated brake this on the front and ventilated brake this on the rear now guys those are the most important technical data about the car let's start the review we will talk about the exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion so yeah let's do it guys all right guys so first of all let's start with the key this is the key the same key as peugeot use it also on other models simple key what you can do with the key except the fact that it's a keyless entry that means every time you come close to the car you can see the car will unlock for you without pressing any button this is really cool this feature you can also of course lock and unlock the car it comes with electric folding mirrors and i like that very much and also you can see it has an electric the light that illuminate the floor in the nighttime right now you cannot see it but it is there and other than that if you want to open the trunk and you press this button for the trunk you just unlock the trunk because it doesn't come with an automatic 
lift gate, it will only unlock the trunk. So this is the key. I just turned on the lights and let's talk a little bit about the exterior design. As I said, this is the facelift 2024 version. It's built on kind of the same platform as Peugeot. Use it also for the new 308, actually the new thermal engine. So it's nothing different there. The only thing that is different is the fact that they kind of integrated the electric motor, the battery and all that stuff. But the platform, it's actually made for thermal engines, internal combustion engines. So that's why probably in the future we will see from Peugeot, Stellantis group, a lot of cars that will be built special to be electric. But for the moment, what I notice is that they kind of still keep that strategy where they, they offer also electric version for all the cars that come with internal combustion engines. When it comes to exterior design, I have to say, I have to be honest with you, I think this is the most beautiful car in this class, Volkswagen Golf, Opel Astra, Mercedes, BMW, I don't know. But this design, special exterior design, at least in this GT version, it looks fabulous. French cars manufacturers, in special Peugeot, also make incredible nice design on the exterior, make beautiful cars. I really love the lines. I like almost every single piece of the car. I love the front end. I love the back of the car. Even the side of the car looks super spectacular. And this combination of white with black glossy piano black in some parts look really nice. What do you think about the exterior? From my point of view, I think it looks lovely. On the upper side, it comes with a glass roof that you saw before. It's optional. Then you have the radio antenna in piano black. Beautiful design. The roof spoiler is extended with a little bit of piano black on the side. Tinted windows on the rear. Tinted windows on the side. Around the edges of the windows, you have some rubber on the upper side and down here you have some glossy piano black, glossy piano black on the B pillar, glossy piano black on the mirrors and also even on the leg of the mirror, this is all super premium. It gives you that feeling of premium. Even the design look really beautiful on the mirrors, big mirrors, blind spot technology in the corner. You have the camera here for 360 degrees camera. You have the handle here, pretty simple handles, but the good part is that the quality of the handles and also on the doors it's very good so they sound really nice then also talking a little bit about the lights the lightnings in Peugeot look fabulous excepting the fact that down here you have some uh, normal halogen lights and also down here for reverse light and also for the fog lamp excepting that even though you have two of them and they are very visible on the both sides, uh, the lights are phenomenal. We, if you look at the turning signals here, if you look at the tail lights, uh, they look so nice, so three dimensional, so beautiful, really, really beautiful. So nothing to say about them. I really like the way they design it. Also the line here with piano black look gorgeous. Here is the, uh, if I'm not wrong, the handle, yeah. From here you open, unlock the trunk, just like that. Then you have the new uh, Peugeot logo. E308, also the E in the beginning, it's a little bit different. And you have GT on this side, some piano black down here, LED lights on the number plate, and the, of course the reverse camera, and then some piano black and some fake exhaust pipe with a little bit of chrome on the both sides. But in general, I think it, it looks nice. The charging port is on the right side, and you can see the AC, DC charging, pretty simple pretty good quality and down here on the down skirt they also add some uh, plastic extended down here to make the car look much more sportier and interesting then you have the rims right here 18 inch rims and those new aerodynamic rims look super nice on the car i really love those rims the new rims from peugeot look gorgeous i saw it on the new 3008 as well very very nice rims and they keep that signature of Peugeot really cool then you have the brake discs normal brake discs ventilated brake discs on the front as I said before normal brake calipers uh, right there again Peugeot logo on the both sides up here you have some cameras and sensors for reading the traffic speed limit lane assist and all that safety features and you can come in the front you can see the wow man look at the lines I love white colors because white on cars show you 
all the lines and all the shapes of the car and I love them. Then you have in the front the LED light, high beam, low beam, turning signals down here. Really beautiful. And if you look at the front end with the grille, one of the most beautiful grille these days on the market, I think they are from Peugeot Group. They are beautiful. Look at this. Look at the chrome insertion. Look how beautiful they integrate this Peugeot in the grille there. It looks really, really nice that you have the front camera behind the Peugeot logo. You have the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. Really nice, really stand out. And it really look like a tiger, like a lion, like really aggressive, like a cat, I should say. Really nice front end. And I love this, this direction where they go with this design. So pretty nice. And also here, the eyes beginning with a little bit of chrome dark. And then again on the down part, you have some glossy plastic here, no air intakes. The air will flow around the car. Four parking sensors or four sensors on the front. Really nice lines down here with a little bit of piano black plastic mat. And then you have some white and the number plate. Now they are down there on the bumper. So much better like this uh, than I saw in other cars. I mean, you have that grill free. You don't have that number here. So it looks really nice. Now, this is the exterior design. I think I cover everything. In the rear, you have also four uh, sensors, so something to, to know. Now, I know many questions. It's an electric car. You have some space in the front under the hood. And here is your answer. The answer is because this car is actually built on... Oh, come on, man. It's built on uh, the same platform as the thermal engine. Uh, is no more space down here. So this is the space, plenty of space for electronic parts because it doesn't take too much space as the normal combustion engines, but this is it, this is the way it looks. So yeah, fuse box on the right side, 12 volt battery, some liquid cooling for the brakes. In the left side, you have the uh, wiper fluid and that's it. Nice, even, even the hood has good quality. I like it and it's not so heavy. Now open the front from here, simple as that. And you have a manual lift gate here in the trunk. This is the entrance, 412 liters, if I remember well, is the trunk here. From my point of view, it's really big. I mean, uh, it looks, it's bigger than the Volkswagen e-Golf for sure, as a space. And let me put this like that. You have also some LED lights in the interior, some storage spaces here. This is the cable that comes standard with the car, some hooks in the corners, some plastic at the entrance here, protection, but you don't have a flat floor. You have maybe like seven centimeter deepness. And under the floor here, you have some storage space for triangle repair kit, uh, because there is the battery and all that stuff under the trunk. So you don't have too much uh, space right here, but Overall, this is it. Of course, you have also those protection for the trunk that I will take it out right now and I will show you the way it looks without it. It's pretty simple to take them out and I will take it out right now. I will put it here for a while so you can see a little bit better how big is the entrance in the car. And from my point of view, pretty big. You can fit in here big items. Here you have some handles to close it. And then if you want to carry long items, you have the opportunity to leave this down and to carry long items in this area where is the armrest or you can fold it down 60 40 just like that let me show you it's just simple you just push it from here push it forward and this is the space usually it should go a little bit lower so just like that this is it this is the space in the back you can carry plenty of stuff without any problem right here so in general i think in terms of space it's more more than enough to carry a lot of stuff i want to show you also from the side i love the fact that they they design and they they put the windows only only on the door you know why because you have a bigger entrance you have a better visibility from the interior and you have a nicer simple design and I like that you can see from here also how big is the entrance in the car from the side and how much you can see how much space you have in the back there as well so in general it's pretty fine from my point of view also the quality it's relatively fine almost a flat floor here but I like the fact that you still have plenty of storage space on the legs room now 
Now let me put everything back and then we will go inside. All right, now let's go in the back. As you saw before, one big window and one small window here. So if you want to fold down the windows in the back, this is how much you can fold it almost all the way down. So that's good. In terms of design, pretty nice design. Uh, almost on all Peugeot cars have very nice design on the doors. Here you have some plastic with a nice gray trim. Then you have on the upper side some plastic, but it looks quite nice until you not touch it you don't know if it's plastic or not then you have the handle plastic here here we have leather I like that with stitches green stitches then you have the button pretty nice and storage space really big storage space for a rear door this is good and then you have the speaker right here the entrance quite nice and you can see from here from this angle also the glass roof that's optional you can see some LED lights on the roof and you can see those beautiful beautiful seats one of my favorite part on the car are the seats they are phenomenal they are special Napa leather incredible seats uh, not only that they look good but the design uh, and the way it feels it feels very good and what I notice is that here you can see between those stitches there are 15 millimeters higher these areas because they add extra foam here I think they take the technology somehow from Citroen and they kind of help you with the bumps in the road and with comfort Isofix for child you have two child seats here you can install and then in the middle you have this armrest with two cup holders and some storage space and up here you have the LEDs now in the middle the transmission tunnel relatively big because they use it also for other uh, engines and let me go inside the car and if I want to make it realistic let me close the door the good part is that man the door sound nice you hear it yeah let me hear again let me show you oh I love it I love the sound nice sound I love the seats I have to say the seats are phenomenal they they kind of take the I saw on many cars these days they kind of stole the technology from Citroen with this foam and the seats are incredible and you know who win from this stalling stuff from manufacturer to manufacturer the end customer this is we we win because the, the, the seats are super comfy now I'm 173 centimeters and I have like five fingers over my head and on my knees I adjust the seat in my driving position before I start uh, filming and look at this this is my space Ooh, 173 centimeters more than enough space you cannot stretch the legs down there but it's fine for me it's just just fine uh, in terms of space visibility wise it's gorgeous I told you when they extend the window like that the visibility from the passenger it's very good and the comfort here in the back it's super super nice not super spacious but it's it's really good here I like it also this is the handle this is the roof the roof quality from 1 to 10 and 8 good quality here LED lights you already saw it here we have some vents in the back two USB uh, C ports and some storage space here super useful I like that then you can see the glass roof you already saw it before and also this is manual check this out so if you close it manual much better less uh, electronic parts to broke and then from here you can see the dashboard dashboard it's gorgeous the same dashboard as on the normal pre facelift 308 look really nice I love the dashboard on Peugeot I think they were the first to bring these futuristic beautiful new designs before other premium car manufacturers come with those designs Peugeot was the first alien I should say like that the first car company that come with incredible nice beautiful lines and it has ambient light in the door I think you can see a little bit of bluish uh, it has ambient light there uh, on the dash and the way it looks the way they design look at the multimedia it's turn it to the driver's side and look at there at the cockpit it looks really really nice really from my point of view beautiful design anyway let's go in the front to talk about those things there the same design this time we have soft material on the upper side here the same plastic trim really interesting nice design and then you have the ambient light here you have here leather in this area with the stitches the button for the windows lock the windows lock the car electric adjustable mirrors handle here quite nice big storage space I like that the speaker Peugeot logo on aluminum plate aluminum pedals I like that electric adjustable seats but you can adjust all the seats position excepting the front and backward if you want to put the seats forward forward or backward you have to do it from the middle and you can do it very easy because the quality is quite nice otherwise 
even the front part you can adjust it from here manually otherwise look at the seats the seats are super comfy and super beautiful they are premium i should put it in the same class as with some uh, bmw mercedes seats that cost or they are that are installed on the cars that cost around 100,000 or maybe more really beautiful and you can see this foam installed here in this area and also down here so they're crazy comfy and they have also the peugeot logo integrated right there in the headrest lovely and also they have side support a little bit higher here some soft material this is the chrome the kind of the plastic with the trim then you have the vents good quality some ambient uh, some piano black here integrated close the door and the visibility outside is pretty good good visibility in the mirrors big mirrors and also around the windows good visibility even in this mirror look at this pretty good visibility and also tiny nice edges on the mirrors and in the back there you can see the visibility it's fine even though it has 360 degrees camera here you have the armrest also leather good quality here as well only down there a little bit of plastic here you have some storage space you have the port USB-C some storage space down here electronic handbrake this is the space to cup holders, USB-C, some storage space for your phone with the lights and 12 volt port. And here you can wireless charging your phone in this hole down here. And then you have start stop engine button, shift by wire transmission, love that. Super simple, different driving modes. You have three different driving modes, sport, normal and eco mode. And here you can go in different drivings and you have even the B mode. I will show you more when I test drive the car, when you uh, release the acceleration it will regenerate the energy back into the battery manual adjustable steering wheel up down left right super simple the same steering wheel as Peugeot used on other models the GT steering wheel love it quality wise really nice and then you have physical button to adjust different functions left and right autopilot cruise control and here voice command and you can also customize uh, a few things for example on the uh, media and radio and then if you want to customize what you see in the front there you do it from this button here and there you can change different views this is the normal digital cockpit where you have the navigation all over the screen you can see a lot of information about the car left and right and even the navigation and plus the battery what happened with the energy the range the speed here you can see also the consumption and here you can see all the assistant view from autopilot and then here if i'm not wrong you can see also the consumption and you can reset the consumption but really really cool cockpit one of the best these days they really improve it i like the fact that we still have those physical button down here for climatic system and the volume and then the great part is that this button is also a shortcut that gets you directly to the uh, all the important settings of the car if you go to functions you have all the uh, safety features the most important safety features like rear cross traffic alert close obstacle detection kibling uh, laning assist drive assist too this is the newest this one i will test it in the test drive automatic braking system traction control speed limit recognition traffic sign recognition and all that stuff super cool then you have this screen split in two that looks super beautiful and down here you have all the shortcuts and you can go in different settings like climatic system from here you can customize and change the climatic system turn it on and off and choose the temperature and it's very simple to use it then you have steering and the seats heated seats heated steering wheel air quality because the car come with this extra air filter that it's better quality you can even precondition the car before you go inside so the car will be hot then you have of course the navigation that gets you directly to navigation right now it's in dark mode but it's also in the uh, daytime mode when it's a little bit more sunny outside and you can set a destination and you can see how fast it's loading and it's used the tom tom navigation that works super fine one of the best of course and then you have the phone and mirror screen you can connect wireless android auto apple carplay to this uh to this screen so this is awesome and here is the home page you probably know the you multimedia system i don't want to go too much into details with it because you probably know it you can customize every single page the way you want to customize the car come also with massage on the seats application drawer you find all the settings plus the games this is a new feature that peugeot 
bring it on the newest cars. And here you have a few games that you can play like Tic Tac Toe, Hangman and 2048. So those are super interesting uh, options. And then again in application drawer you find all the settings like uh, from all the safety features to settings to seat settings and all that stuff. And here are the most important settings like connectivity, uh, languages, brightness of the screen, vehicle settings and all that stuff. And you can change the light, vehicle access and safety features right here down. Just like that. Okay. In general, I think you know it. I don't want to go too much into detail because you know it already. Uh, and you can also customize those screens and add it and delete it and do however you want. And here is the main a graphic that shows you what happened with the energy with the battery while you're driving statistics about consumption and then the charging information so pretty simple pretty nice and much more responsive a little bit higher it comes with those super nice vans good quality good quality here you have a speaker up there i don't know if you can see it speaker on the a pillar very nice integration of the vans soft material here this is the glow box Ooh, it's huge the glow box it's freaking huge and it has an LED light there I like that and that was all this is the light by the way high bin low bin super cool love the car man I mean a lot of good quality up here some LEDs SOS button and you can open also the glass roof from here check this out from here you can open the glass roof just like that let's see how much you can open it only here a little bit more than half but it's nice, you have also this uh, insection protection there and you can close it like that automatically that's cool and then of course you have also this solar protection with two LED lights, super fancy good quality and also a handle here nice, I love the car, I mean I really really love it I think it's a great great car to take into consideration if you are on the market for an electric car at least if you want a beautiful car this is super beautiful it has super nice comfort on those seats i really love the seats i'll give it a 10 from 10 to the seats design as well multimedia is great love the car i mean peugeot in the last year made great cars now guys my rating for this peugeot e308 from 1 to 10 taking a consideration what it's all this car if i take into consideration the platform of the car without the electric functions i will give it probably 9.910 but if we think about this is an electric car and it has some competition with electric cars like tesla like all other electric cars i will give it a 9.8 sadly but on the normal thermal combustion engine on this car i will give it much more and probably if i don't remember well but check out that video review with the normal 300 day to see it but incredible car for from many many point of view so it's really beautiful it has a lot of great quality and it has a lot of safety features and comfort features that not many other cars offer and those seats are much much better and much better quality than what tesla offer even on the new model 3 highland but anyway that was the video thank you for watching stay safe don't forget to check out the car if you are in switzerland around switzerland at gallicar garage i will leave the link in the description they are super nice they will help you with everything so check them out that was all don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that thank you very much guys i hope you get some useful information from this video uh, if you want to see the test drive stay close because we'll come soon stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys